I got a couple of afternoon developments here on the ongoing case over Illinois' gun ban. We'll definitely uh, post it all here, of course, tomorrow morning when we're live from 6 to 9. We'll go into even more detail. Uh, but I wanted to share here, you've got uh, the Illinois State Police looking to consolidate a bunch of different federal challenges to the state's gun and magazine ban in federal court. What's interesting here is the case is actually the state level case from Crawford County where you had uh, the first case filed uh, in in Crawford County challenging the state's gun ban. Uh, well, earlier this week, that case was moved to federal court. And then in federal court, you had the state police request that the uh, Crawford County federal case now be combined with the Illinois State Rifle Association's case, be combined with the Illinois Gun Rights Alliance Federal Firearms Licensees of Illinois case, and the National Shooter Sports Foundation's case. So uh, this is obviously a developing story where you've got all of these federal cases uh, now looking to possibly be consolidated in the federal courts. Uh, but also, you have uh, the, the latest here, what uh, seems to be the first county official that has filed a state-level lawsuit against the gun ban. McHenry County's state's attorney put out this statement saying that the McHenry County state's attorney's office is filing that complaint against the state over House Bill 5471 uh, that bans high-capacity magazines and so-called assault weapons. Uh, and the complaint lays out arguments about the Second Amendment, and if they get a temporary restraint training order. It would only be for McHenry County, but ultimately they're looking to get that Monday at an emergency hearing that's scheduled for Monday. Uh, so yeah, this is a lot of moving pieces. We'll of course keep you updated uh, as we get it here with Bishop on air. I'll be back live in the morning, six to nine. Check it out.